Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna give a quick tutorial on how to add a scrolling text to a video in OpenShot. As an exercise, we're gonna add a scrolling text of the cast and crew member list to a video to create a video closing like this. Alright, so here I've added this short video clip to track 1 and set the project profile to HD 720p 25 frames per second to match the original video's resolution. Now the first step of adding a scrolling text is to create an image or a set of images of the text you want to add using your favorite image editor. For this exercise, I use Paint.net, which is a free, light, and yet powerful image editor. Generally speaking, there's no specific rule that we have to follow when creating the image of the text. But for the best result and convenience in editing, it is strongly recommended that the images have the same dimensions as that of the video. For example, in this exercise, I set the project profile to HD 720p, so my text images should have dimensions of 1280 by 720 pixels. This way, the text will look exactly the same on the video as on the image editor during design time. However, if the text is very long and spans more than one frame height vertically, with no suitable breakpoints in between, we can still put it in a single image and set the image height according to the text's height, like the one I'm showing you right now. The same principle can be applied to the image width if we want to create a horizontal scrolling text. And as for the image type, they can be of type JPG, PNG or SVG, with or without background, depending on whether it will overlay the video or not. Alright, so once we've created the text images, simply add those images to the OpenShot project files. And now before we add the first image to the timeline, let me just add a fade out effect to the end of the video clip so that we'll have a smooth transition between the video and the scrolling text. Then simply drag the first image to the timeline track 1 and snap it to the end of the video clip. Now as you can see here on the video preview panel, the image is scaled down to the video's height because this first text image has a dimension of 1280 by 1000 pixels. To get back the text's design time look, we'll need to resize this image to its original dimension. To do that, first make sure the image clip is being selected, and then move the playhead to the start of the clip. Show the Clip Properties panel and go to the Scale X and Scale Y Properties. Now instead of manually changing the Scale X and Y Properties values, we'll resize the image through the Video Preview panel. To do that, first press and hold the Control key on the keyboard to maintain the image aspect ratio while resizing later. Then click and drag any one of the squares on the image bounding box to resize the image. As you can see here on the Clip Properties panel, the Scale X and Y Properties values will change as we drag the mouse. Once you get the right dimension, release the mouse button first and then the control key on the keyboard. The next step is to set the image's initial location, which is hidden at the bottom of the screen. To do that, first make sure the playhead is still at the start of the image clip. Now click and hold anywhere within the video preview area, and then simply drag the mouse to move the image down to the bottom of the screen. As you can see here on the clip properties panel, the clip's location Y property value changed as we drag the image around on the video preview panel. And to make sure the image is still center aligned horizontally, reset the location X property value to zero by removing any keyframe that might have been inserted into it when we adjusted the image's initial location. All right, the next step will be to set the clip's duration and the image's final location, which should be made hidden at the top of the screen. These two variables will determine how fast the text will be scrolling up. For a start, let's leave the clip's duration with its default value, which is 10 seconds, and then move the playhead to the end of the clip. After that, change the clip's location Y properties value to the negative value of its initial location. This negative location Y value will cause the image to be hidden at the top of the screen. As for its interpolation mode, leave it linear as we want the scrolling speed to be constant. Now if we play the video, we'll have something like this. If you think the scrolling speed is too fast or too slow, you can change it by changing the clip's duration. For example, let's make this text scrolling speed a little slower by 2 seconds. To do that, first move the playhead to the end of the clip. And then go to the clip properties panel and remove the scrolling animations end keyframe on the location Y property. After that, look for the clip's end property and increase its value by 2 seconds to extend the clip's duration by 2 seconds. Then move the playhead to the end of the clip and then change the clip's location Y value to the negative of its current value. 
Now let's play the video, and we should have a slower scrolling text. Alright, to add the second section of the text, first we'll need to determine its start position on the timeline. For this exercise, I'll make the second text image start scrolling up from the bottom of the screen when the last line of the previous section is already roughly two lines above the bottom of the screen. Since this image will have a time overlap with the first image, we'll have to place it on a separate track, either above or below the main track. So now I'll just drag the image to track 2 and snap its left end to the playhead. Now as you can see here on the video preview, the second text image fits nicely into the screen since its dimension matches the video's dimension, so we don't need to resize it anymore. Then, as in the first image, we'll need to set its initial location hidden at the bottom of the screen. Since the height of the image matches the video's height, the easiest way to do it is through the clip's location Y property. With the origin Y property is left at its default value of 0.5, setting the location Y property to 1 will move the image down just hidden at the bottom of the screen. The next step is to set the clip's duration and the image's final location, such that the text scrolling speed of this second image is the same as that of the first one. To do that, first move the playhead to the end of the clip, and then go to the clip's properties panel and change the clip's location Y value by dragging its property value bar to the left. As you can see on the video preview panel, the image moves up as we drag the location Y property value bar to the left. Now let's do a little math to determine this clip's duration, so that its scrolling speed is the same as that of the first one. The vertical translation distance of this image is 1 plus 0.7. To get the clip's duration, we'll divide this translation distance with the first image's scrolling speed, which is 2.3 per 12 seconds. So we have to set the second text clip's duration to 8.87 seconds. So now go back to the Clip Properties panel and change the clip's end property value to 8.87 seconds. After that, move the playhead to the end of the clip and then change the clip's location Y property value to the image's final location we set just now, which is minus 0.7, and leave its interpolation mode linear. Okay, it's all set and we're good to go. Now let's play the video and see the final result. Alright, so that's how easy it is to add a scrolling text to a video in OpenShot. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.